I'm Mitch Marks, Electrification Specialist with HBK, and today I'm going to be joined with my colleague Ed Green to speak about source path contribution in electric vehicles. Thank you for the introduction, Mitch. So let's talk about SPC. SPC is a tool that's very useful in determining um, what's the cause, whether it's the motor or whether it's the vehicle structure. The second is for benchmarking. Um, in doing this, in developing a new vehicle, you need very detailed information about um, the sensitivity of the different paths of the car and the strength of the different sources. Uh, SPC is a natural tool for, for doing benchmarking. Um, it's also a natural tool for, you know, kind of following on from that, it's a natural tool in making improvements to the vehicle and looking at playing what if games to see um, if you do this, if you change this bushing or if you change this mount, how, how much does that improve the sound and how much does that bring you closer to your noise target? So SPC is a, even though it's a lot of work to do, is a very valuable tool. Let's break it down. So we have a motor. Then we have a vehicle. I kind of like, I'm going to, I'm going to go with what, with, the way, with Mitch's style. And in this case, we're going to call it our structure. We have a structure. And then finally, we have the occupant, the, the person who's, who's buying the car. And we'll put little ears on him because we're very, interest, very interested in that. This is the basic part of it. We have source, we have a path, and then we're looking at the final contribution uh, to the occupant. Let's break it down a little bit more. Again, we have our motor, but as part of our structures, we have the mounts. Then we have more of the structure of the car. where maybe this makes sound to our occupant. It makes vibration, which is perceived by our occupant. So this is one of the source, path, contribution paths. We also have the suspension, which again goes to the structure and goes uh, to the occupant that way. And then we also have air. So this is the direct radiation from the motor goes through the air as some various path and ends up as sound to the occupant. So this is a little bit, so this is kind of our um, figurative breakdown and this is more of a elemental breakdown of how the noise gets from the motor through the different paths into to the occupant itself. The nuts and the bolts of this are that we use many accelerometers and many different sensors to do this. On, you know, an electric motor might have three mounts and might have four different mounts. On each side of the mount, we'll put a triaxial accelerometer on the active side and on the structural side. We'd have many microphones. We'd have an array of microphones put around the motor and also an array of microphones on the interior of the car and in different paths if we wanted to break down this path even more. So many microphones. We could also add torque measurements or we could add current measurements. And these could either be made using um, the BK Connect source path analysis or if we wanted to do a deep dive we could also add in parallel an e-drive system in order to quantify those better. So that if there was an issue at a particular frequency or operating state, we could take e-drive and we could go in and we could do a deep dive on it to, uh, to figure out what might be causing it. Um, same thing with voltage, and we could even add strain gauges. So all, all, of this, all of these sensors, but then we also need to look at the paths. And for the paths, we use two things. We use one thing which is we call a VVS, 
sorry, a lot of acronyms in this, but a VVS is a volume velocity source. So this is a, a very quantifiable source that we use to like put next to the motor to find out, like if I have a noi noise in this region next to the motor, how much of that gets into the interior of the vehicle. And then we also use uh, impact hammer to look at the structure. Like if, if this much, if the mounts are putting this much force into the structure at this point, how much noise will that, will that produce? And by doing this, we produce, we measure the, the strength, the sensitivity of all the different paths. We measure something called the A over F. In other words, how much acceleration is sensed by the driver due to the force at the, at the mount inputs. We measure something called the P over F, meaning that if we have a certain amount of noise that's produced around the motor, how much of, or yeah, if there's a certain amount of force that's being put into the structure, how much noise that does that create at the driver's ear? And then we also have something called the P over P, meaning that if we had uh, our source, a source of noise at a certain point on the motor, how much noise does that get back to the driver? So, so in, in, in NVH uh, vernacular, we, we, we're primarily interested in the A over Fs, the P over Fs, and the P over Ps. So what we do is we take the car, we operate it, we has, have all the instrumentation to, to, to measure all the, all the vibration, all the noise in the operating condition. And we call those operating measurements. We, then we make a bunch of measurements on the paths, the sensitivity measurements, and then we combine the, the operating measurements with the path measurements in order to simulate how the vehicle would perform uh, under realistic conditions. One nice thing about the B&K system is that it's a sound, a real-time sound-based system. So, in so instead of producing squiggly lines on a page of spectral limits or spectral values versus frequency, it actually produces real playback. So you can hear what the vehicle sounds like. Like you can put on headphones and you can hear what the vehicle sounds like when you're doing 50% acceleration or 10% acceleration or 100% acceleration. You can play the what if games and then listen to see how the, the vehicle sounds afterwards and uh, uh, really get a good, a good sense of what the sound quality is. So in summary, engineering services has experience They have, we have a lot of experience in doing, um, in doing SPC. Since I joined 11 years ago, we've done at least two vehicles ever since. We've done many different electric vehicles as part of benchmarking exercises and also as part of, as part of improvement exercises for various, uh, various companies. We have the resources to do this. Typically, in doing these types of measurements, we, we, we end up with a measurement system that has 400 channels. So um, it's important to, to have the resources in order to make those measurements operating measurements simultaneously. Uh, we also have the expertise in simulation. When we are done with this, you can, you can create a physics model and actually drive the car and hear what it sounds like. Uh, uh, as, as you're going down the road. You, like earlier, I talked about how you can hear what the vehicle sounds like in 10% acceleration mode or in 50% or in 100%. Well, with a simulation extension to the model, you can drive it around town and get an idea of what it's like going around the, a corner, going down the highway, um, decelerating. And then finally, we have expertise in sound quality, which brings it all together and it's kind of the final piece of the the NVH puzzle. This is, an, this is SPC. Thank you very much for your time.